One of the most underrated, talented defenders in the Premier League comes from Ghana, but is sadly yet to make his debut for the Black Stars. And that is the underrated, talented young defender, center half from Southampton in Mohamed Salisu. Yes, that is right. It is Mohamed Salisu's birthday as well today, turning 23. And he's been also getting high praise in the media from a Ghana legend in Asamoah Gyan, who believes Mohamed Salisu is one of the Premier League's top three defenders. That is right, top three. And he would like to see him play for the Black Stars. And of course, we would all like to see him play for the Black Stars. We would all like to see the top players in the nation or of our own countries play for our national team and support that badge, play for the country, and truly show all the pride in the world. But lately in the media, Mohamed Salisu has come out saying he needs to focus on his club career. And for me, and I'm sure a lot of other Ghana fans, it is very confusing and it makes no sense. And for me, my personal opinion on Mohamed Salisu saying he needs more time in his club career, I don't really understand it. Because if you look at what he's done in his club career in the past season, he's been truly phenomenal. There's nothing more he can truly do to improve his plays to jump up in the Southampton lineup because his stats this year in the Premier League have been truly phenomenal and also he's been one of the best defenders in the league in my personal opinion I completely agree with Asamoah Gyan so I don't know how how Mohamed Salisu thinks he needs to focus on his club career more the only thing I can see him wanting to focus more is getting a better transfer getting a better step up but he's playing for a quality side in Southampton and he's it firmly established himself in the starting 11. So I don't know what more he really needs to focus on. This is a Black Stars coach dream to have a Mohamed Salisu. So I don't know why Mohamed Salisu still thinks he needs to focus on his club career. Because this year he's played 29 matches so far. And he has also tallied up 2,500 minutes. And in the Premier League, he has some phenomenal stats. He is by far clear of anyone else for most interceptions. Mohamed Salisu sits on 68 interceptions. The closest is Romain Saiz, the Moroccan international, with 56. It is crazy how well he's done. If you look at his stats this year for Southampton in the Premier League, he is the third highest completed passes with 1,177 most tackles of 66, most aerial duel wins with 83, most clearances of 118, and most interceptions with 68. I don't understand how he believes he needs to improve his club career. As a now Ghanaian fan and new supporter of the nation, I'm of course Canadian and I do love Canada, and I just don't understand why Mohamed Salisu is not deciding to go play for Ghana. Yes, it is massive to play for a World Cup and for your country, but... Just getting to wear that badge and to go out there for your debut to play for your home nation, for your home country, it is a true honor. And the fact that Mohamed Salisu is still turning down the offers and is saying he needs to play for his, uh, earn his club career for, uh, farther and really establish himself more and to focus on it, I just don't understand. Because where he is in his club career with Southampton, it's as far as he's going to get. He's by far the best defender in his club. He is Oten by far one of the best defenders in the Premier League, and he's established himself firmly in Southampton 11, so I just don't understand it, because this is a quality Ghana side that's getting even better with the likes of Eddie Nketiah coming in, the likes of Inake Williams probably coming in, some quality defenders already there with Alexander Jacu. you also have Daniel Amarty, you also have a quality defender from Celta Vigo in Joseph Adu. So I think this is a very good back line already, and with Ghana testing out that back three, I think he would be a perfect fit as the left-sided center back, and you'd have a great back three going into a very good World Cup and a very good draw for Ghana, especially getting that revenge against Uruguay. It's going to be a very interesting time for this Ghana side. And if you look at what Mohamed Salisu is quality at, it's his tackling and ball interceptions. He's truly special at those. And he is just a quality defender. And if you ask me where I would put Mohamed Salisu in the Premier League, which you have uh, uh, Guyan coming out saying that he's one of the top three, which, yes, I think he's one of the best defenders in the Premier League. I would not put him top three, though. I would have him top five, which is actually very high praise. I would have Van Dyke. I would have myself with Ruben Diaz, John Stones, Thiago Silva, and Antonio de Rudiger. And Mohamed Slisu either sneaks into there or just comes six. He's right in there. Top six or top five. I'm having Mohamed Slisu up there any day. His stats have truly been brilliant this year. And he's been a fantastic defender. 
And I'm eventually going to make a starting 11 for Ghana coming out lately, coming out probably next week or the week after that. If you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comments. If you'd like to see a predicted early World Cup starting 11 for Ghana, let me know down below. But I also don't get why there's so much hate for Mohamed Salisu in Twitter, in the fans, for the fans, because Mohamed Salisu is just putting his career first. It's a very smart move, but... He also needs some backing from the fans as well, I do believe. I know it is hard to back him when he's not playing for the nation, when he should be going out there, he should be suiting up, he should be wearing the jersey and playing for the home country. And with him at the back and this other additions of Eddie and Katia and Ake Williams and Sat John, this team is truly brilliant with what they already have. And Mohamed Salisu just needs more backing, he needs some more convincing. And with what uh, Guyan did come out in the media, he said multiple things. I'm, I'll read out a couple things here before we wrap the video here, guys. He went on to say, The Premier League is one of the best leagues in the world. So, if you have a player who is among the best defenders, he is definitely eligible to play for the national team. If he is in the coach's plans and willing to play. That is what Guyan said to the media. He also went on to say, I got to know Mohamed Salisu. I went to Southampton, I think, two months ago. We had a very good talks. And for you to understand, it will take longer. I don't even want to talk about him. Maybe it's his decision if he wants to talk. For an outsider, it's easy to say he wants to come. But there are a lot of reasons too, and I understand him for his reasons. I really appreciate him for taking his time to explain his probs, and I hope the time will come. It will come. He wants to play. That is all we want to see and all we want to hear is a legend talking so highly of a player, not putting him down, but highly rating him. And of course, Asama, Asamoa Gayan highly rates Mohamed Salisu, as we all do, and we just want him to come play for Ghana, as we would do for any other national team player. I'm a huge fan of Canada, Canada is where I'm from. And of course, when we have Stefan Estacchio come, who is a dual national with Portugal and Canada, he chose Canada, and he's always said, especially after qualifying against Jamaica, he said that choosing Canada was the best decision he's ever made. And that is what I think Mohamed Salisu will say when he first comes to play for Ghana. It's going to be one of his best decisions he's ever made in football. But guys, let me know what you think down below. Will Mohamed Salisu join the Black Stars and play for Ghana at the World Cup 2022 Qatar? And do you guys want to see a video on a early prediction for a Ghana starting 11 for the World Cup? Make sure to let me know down below in the comments. I appreciate all the subscribers and all the views lately. It means the absolute world to me. And I hope this video does amazing as well. It means the world to me. And you guys are truly ha making my dreams come true. We're going to keep pushing for some more subs and more video ideas and the better. Guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.